Welcome indeed to all the delegates who have joined us for the uh, final session for the uh, three days of the world's largest fintech fest, Global Fintech Fest, organized by Payments Council of India and Fintech Convergence Council of Internet and Mobile Association of India and National Payments Corporation of India. The fest, as you all know, is presented by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India and Reserve Bank of India and supported by Niti Aayog, Startup India and Invest India. I do believe that all the three days have been absolutely filled with a lot of insights, a lot of perspectives, but it's only befitting to actually not just recapitulate, but also highlight some of the amazing insights that we've gathered right here at the fest for which I'm once again delighted to welcome back. Uh, we have with us once again, Mr. Srinivas Jain, Executive Director, SBI Funds Management, joining us to share his thoughts uh, and also to present the vote of thanks for the entire Global FinTech Fest. So with that, sir, thank you once again for joining us and over to you. Thank you, Kavya. Good evening, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're from. So I would say hello, everyone. Thank you for being with us. Uh, it's been a power pack and exciting three days of Global FinTech Festival. I want to take this opportunity to summarize this event. Before that, I'd like to thank all our partners, uh, Ministry of Electronics and IT, Reserve Bank of India and NPCI. Uh, special thanks to Niti Aayog, Startup India, Invest India, Central Bank of Kenya. We had institutional partners from RBI Innovation Hub, the World Bank and UNCDF. And of course, all my colleagues from FCC, PCI, IMAI, they have conceptualized this beautiful event and have put lots of hard work in putting this together. Also, a very special thanks to all our sponsors who have been open-heartedly forthcoming in their support for this uh, initiative. Uh, you know, as I said, we've had three power-packed days with speakers from government, policymakers, technocrats, economists, bankers, investors, and of course, our budding and celebrity fintech entrepreneurs and colleagues. We've covered a very wide range of topics from business, policy, investments, uh, technology developments, all of that that are impacting the global fintech industry today. Here we have a, a quick glance of some of the key uh, thoughts that got covered uh, in global press and global uh, uh, from this event. We had top ministers from government of India making a very strong statement on the government digital push, enablements that they've created by the government, and of course, uh, the intended uh, policy and other roadmaps. We also had uh, regulators and technocrats uh, actually using this platform to suggest some of some of their thinking processes and uh, some of the opportunities fintechs have to build on. We also had uh, uh, global speakers like uh, Mr. Tobias from IMF, who talked about the most topical event today, which is uh, CBDC. And Mr. Monty uh, from MAS Singapore got us a glimpse of how UPI digital connectivity between India and Singapore uh, will likely to be uh, future templates for more countries to follow. Speaking of uh, UPI, we had uh, Dilip from NPCI talk about how India has created a very, very valuable entity in uh, NPCI. And we had uh, Mrs. Zareen from Standard Chartered Bank talking about the partnership banks and fintechs have to work together with. This was also a very exciting day beyond talks. We had, um, you know, uh, a launch of four exciting products. Uh, we had three reports from uh, United Nations Principles of Responsible Digital Payments, a report made by Better Than Cash Alliance, the evolution of uh, new banks in India by PwC and uh, FCC, and of course, the winds of change trend shaping the Indian fintech sectors by EY and uh, FCC. Quickly, here is a quick snapshot of the whole event. So the event was spread over three days with 151 sessions in which over 500 plus speakers from 43 countries spoke. We also had a record breaking 26,000 plus delegates attending from 121 countries for this event. This is some, some sort of a record in itself. We had 78 partners, 120 plus exhibitors showcasing their product and services in this event. I'm actually very, very happy to announce the date for our next global FinTech event, uh, 
which will be a hybrid event again, spread across three days from 27th to 29th of September, 2022. Thank you all once again for attending this year. We look forward to welcoming you the next year. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Srinivas, uh, for summing up that with uh, some amazing touch points, uh, as well as those interesting numbers. I'm sure we're all absolutely gung-ho, looking forward to the September 2022, in order to also be able to meet in person and at the same time harness the boundaryless factor of the virtual uh, ability as well. But thank you once again, Mr. Srinivas, for your valuable thoughts with us and for beautifully summing up the Global Fintech Fest. With that, I'd like to thank you, all the speakers, all our partners and all our delegates as well. Thank you and bye. Thank you very much. And thank you very much to all of our delegates and attendees for joining in and also for sharing such wonderful thoughts across the chats. We do hope you've had some wonderful takeaways and we hope to see you all in the next edition. Thank you. Stay safe. Take care.